let's start with the other issue section this section is going to have some panels so let's start with the section tag and let's write the class as wrapper text hyphen dark to get the dark color font then id as other hyphen issues we are going to use this id later in the media query part where we will use this id to change the direction of the flex so that we get the panels one in a row because of the screen width limitation in small screen device and in large screen we are going to have all the four panels in one row so then get inside and create a div tag and let's write the class as d-flex-c to change the display property to flex and the flex direction to column and then space container then quickly get inside and create the title create a div tag write the class as text-center space my-2 and let me just copy the text from here just to save some time alright then create a p tag and let me copy the text once again alright let's refresh so we have it get inside the h6 tag write the class as heading this will change the font style then write font hyphen x2 to change the font size all right let's start with the panels create a div tag and let's write the class as d hyphen flex hyphen r because we want all the four panels to be in one row then create a article tag and write the class as hover one and we don't have to define the hover one class in the css because if you remember we have defined the hover one class and all the respective classes which we are going to need for the image hovering effect so we just have to follow the same structure that is the outermost class has to be hover one then the overlay has to be inside it and similarly the info class has to be inside overlay so we just need to follow the same structure mx-2 to add some margin on the left and the right side then get inside and create a a tag get inside it and create a figure tag then again get inside it and create a img tag and then write the source of the image the image is already in the img folder so you don't have to worry about that as long as you are keeping this web page inside the same folder the starter file folder you don't have to worry about the source file name or the file name of the image and the source and you can see that the image hover effect is already working because we have already defined the hover one class so let me just copy the text from here all right then get outside the e tag create a h3 tag and write class as heading space font hyphen x1 then write any heading then get inside and create a p tag and let me just paste the text all right so in this way we have created one panel
we just have to copy this entire block of article tag all right then paste it three more times let me just change the name of the images the images are in the starter file folder so don't worry about it and change the name of the headings as well Notice that we are not using any overlay class or the info class inside it because we don't want any text to be displayed when we hover over the panel or when we hover over the image. So we have not used them. Let's just make one more correction get inside the style.css and scroll to the part where we have defined the flex properties then under the first one d-flex-c remove this flex-wrap similarly under d-flex-r remove the flex-wrap all right So we are using a different kind of hover than the one in the example page. So I just use the same class to show you. So if you like this hovering effect, you can keep it or else I am going to define a new hovering effect just like the one we have in our example page. So for that let us just change the name of the class from hover1 to hover2. If you want you can keep the same class it's totally up to you. I have to show two different types of hovering effect that is why I have to define this one also but it depends upon you which one you like. Then inside the figure tag you can just add one class my-1 to add some margin on the top and bottom looks quite better now Similarly in the p tag write class as text hyphen justify and we have already defined text hyphen justify class in the CSS so we just have to use the name of the class and add this class to all the p tags. So the text becomes justified all right it looks much better now and now we just need to have the hovering effect and we will do that in the next video